up YouTube welcome back to the channel in this video I'm going to be speaking about some key differences between soulmate relationships versus karmic relationships and what some key aspects are to look out for when it comes to what the differences are between these types of relationships and synastry Synastry, there just are some key aspects that point towards a relationship being one that is going to bring out a karmic bond between two people and one that's going to feel more like the soulmates type of a bond. Because when it comes to the soulmate relationships, they feel very harmonious, but they're still very deep and it feels like it's actually nurturing a soul. It brings the sense of ease into a relationship where things feel aligned between two people and Two people's souls actually recognize each other in this relationship. It feels very mutual, it feels harmonious, it feels very loving and there is this mutual understanding between the two people. Even in Sinistry, the positive soulmate aspects are generally very supportive, they flow and they bring up a sense of emotional, even spiritual connection between two people. So aspects such as Venus conjuncting the North Node or having the sun trining the other person's moon or even having positive Juno aspects within the synastry between two people and having a positive aspect or a conjunction between the moon and Venus because all of those aspects bring out a lasting and long-term quality to the relationship between two people it also brings out an affectionate side between the way that they are dealing with each other and it can feel quite harmonious and supportive like when it comes to having the moon conjuncting your partner's venus this does bring out a natural sense of affection as well as emotional understanding between the two partners because venus does rule over love beauty and even affection within relationships and the moon is all about our emotions so this brings something very nurturing into the relationship. It also brings out the sense of emotional support from each other to each other within that relationship, which is why the relationship feels safe. It feels like they are both being taken care of on an emotional level and they are being cherished and can feel quite harmonious and bring a sense of ease into their relationship because it feels so safe. And a classic soulmate aspect is that one between the sun trining your partner's moon in synastry when it comes to the sun trining your partner's moon in synastry this brings out the sense of somebody's ego and somebody else's emotions being in a nice balance like they complement each other naturally without too much effort and when it comes to the side of the sun person that they kind of have it really complements the emotional depth of the moon person and vice versa in this relationship with the sun trining the moon which is why in this relationship the, the, the their energies complement each other almost naturally and when it comes to venus conjuncting someone's north node this does bring in a sense of destiny to this relationship there is a feeling of having a relationship that's destined even from the beginning between the two of them their initial meeting feels like it's one that is that is destined because while the north node is all about our life purpose our life path and our spiritual growth venus being the planet of love and beauty also brings into a person's life purpose and their life path and their spiritual growth the sense of love being a part of that journey and that mission and their soul's evolution so when it comes to them coming together in this relationship with the North Node conjuncting your partner's Venus, they feel as though their relationship is actually happening for this higher purpose. And when they get together, when they get into a relationship together, their relationship is going to have a very big kind of impact on them that's going to last a long time. And of course, when it comes to Juno, this does bring, this is the asteroid all about commitment. It's also all about really significant partnerships and devotion within a relationship and it does bring in long-term potential so when it comes to having positive aspects being made to Juno within a relationship with someone this does bring in a sense of a sense of ease a sense of harmony and when it comes to their relationship it also has it also brings in a sense of commitment from both of the partners and that tends to make things last 
because it is a sign that they're both going to just be deeply committed and even devoted so when it comes to the soulmate aspects they do tend to feel more harmonious more easy and even more naturally flowing within the relationship between two people and so it brings with it this feeling of, of a, an upliftment in one's soul and even feeling supported which can happen quite naturally for two people in a relationship with the soulmate aspects whereas on the other hand when it comes to the karmic relationships these tend to be more so intense they bring a more intense energy into the relationship and even when it comes to them getting together can feel like it's for reasons that are beyond their control and there's this sense of just being drawn to each other by forces that are beyond their control. But the difference between the karmic relationships and soulmate relationships is that when it comes to the karmic relationships, they're not always going to be easy because the purpose of the karmic relationships is to help you to learn some life lessons through the relationship, as well as also being able to work on unresolved past karma and issues that may have been cultivated from a past life and even just things that have not yet been dealt with. Even things that that personally have not yet been dealt with in this relationship kind of gives the opportunity to be able to work on any kind of karma that's generated that has not yet been dealt with. So the karmic relationships are here to teach, to teach life lessons, which is unlike the soulmate relationships, which can be a bit more smooth sailing and can also be a bit more supportive between two people. When it comes to the karmic relationships, they tend to bring a lot more tension and at times even challenges between two people for them to be able to grow through and to be able to overcome. But it's not that soulmate relationships are always perfect and there are no challenges, it's just easier to get through with each other because they are more so supportive in that way. With the karmic relationships, you can feel like overcoming difficulties. Some key karmic relationship aspects in synastry are aspects like having Saturn squaring Venus. Anytime there is a square, it's going to bring some kind of friction into a relationship between two people and especially between the two planets' energy that are involved. So when it comes to Saturn, this is the planet of responsibility, discipline, and even restrictions and lessons and, and karma. While on the other hand, Venus is all about love. It's about beauty and it's all about relationships and affection and it is a romantic energy that's being brought into a relationship between two people. So bringing an aspect like a square between these two planets actually brings a sense of distance between the two people when it comes to things like affection as well as when it comes to even just an emotional connection and generally around love in their relationship there can be a bit of some challenges like there is an obstacle when it comes to freely expressing love between each other feeling like there's a constant obstacle that comes up within this relationship between the two of them around things like love even though there is that friction that comes with the square, it is still teaching them something. They are growing through being able to get through the challenges of this relationship. And another thing that Saturn also brings is the sense of maturing in this relationship. So they do experience learning lessons and also being able to grow and mature within this relationship with each other. It's like having this aspect is actually going to force them to grow and mature in this relationship. And also when it comes to the karmic relationships, a lot of times it's going to involve aspects being made to the south node as opposed to the north node. So one aspect is having the south node conjuncting your partner's planets. This is because the south node is all about the past. And the south node is all about being able to work through any kind of karmic debt that's also from the past. And especially having the south node conjuncting either a partner's moon or a partner's Venus. This is bringing a sense of unfinished business into the relationship. And so this especially is when they can experience a sense of being drawn to someone very strongly within a relationship and coming to find that there are some challenges or tensions within a relationship. And that's really tied to any karmic lessons that need to be learned for either of the partners they'll learn it in this relationship with each other before they can experience a relationship actually evolving and it can get intense and actually one of the biggest indicators of a karmic relationship between two people is having saturn conjuncting the south node in your synastry or someone 
And this one especially can feel quite heavy on a relationship, can feel like there's that sense of karmic debt between the two of them and this feeling of obligation within the relationship, it becomes like a duty. And when it comes to their relationship with each other, it also brings in a lot of challenges to get through within this relationship between the two of them. And that's because Saturn is a planet of, is the planet of karma and the South Node is all about the past. So there is a lot of significant experiences or challenges to get through with this aspect in a relationship. And it, it still can be a long lasting relationship with Saturn in this conjuncting the South Node in this relationship. But it is one that does have a very heavy and deep feeling of karmic debt to work through within this relationship. And another aspect that will indicate a karmic relationship between two people would involve Pluto. And especially having Pluto opposite or squaring another partner's sun or a partner's moon. And with Pluto, it is a very intense and deep energy. But with having this aspect, what the Pluto and the what the Pluto brings into this relationship is this feeling of unconscious power struggles as well as conscious power struggles too. So there's also a need for control and there can be very deep psychological and even emotional challenges within this relationship for that reason between two people. And it brings this very intense energy into the relationship to work through for both of the partners. And essentially when it comes to the differences between the karmic relationships and soulmate relationships, it's really in that the soulmate relationships feel like they bring in the sense of ease into a relationship, especially on an emotional level, but also in other ways the relationship feels like it's supportive. And when it comes to the karmic relationships, although karmic relationships can still work, they can be feelings of tension within a relationship. Even in some situations, feelings are being blocked when it comes to expression, emotional expression, and when it comes to being able to really experience the relationship as smooth sailing, that's not always going to be the case with the karmic relationships because here there can be some tension at times and feelings of difficulty to work through with each other at times. One way to look at it is that the karmic relationships are lessons versus the soulmate relationships being what feels like spiritual growth the soulmate relationships actually encourage a better version of yourself to come out and it does bring out that side of you and when it comes to being able to experience spiritual emotional growth within a relationship it happens as a byproduct without too much resistance whereas with the karmic relationships it may feel like you're being challenged to really face yourself and parts of yourself that need healing and that need growth but it can happen through difficult experiences. It can also happen through power struggles within a relationship. The karmic relationships also tend to be quite intense compared to the soulmate relationships. And they also kind of feel like being taken out of your comfort zone at times. Whereas the soulmate relationships can feel more harmonious. They can feel more like something that's destined that's happening. Like the universe is also aligning things in your favor. But it's really not uncommon to have both soulmate aspects as well as karmic aspects within a relationship between two people. And when it comes to those relationships, these can be some of the most deeply fulfilling as well as even transformative relationships to go through, especially when they're both willing to work through any kind of challenges that come up in the relationship for them. Obviously, when it comes to both of the relationships, these are both incredibly meaningful relationships to have. And when having a combination of these aspects within the relationship, it does bring in the sense of intensity and even this feeling of the relationship being very significant and also feeling like there's this really strong emotional connection within this relationship. It feels quite deep because of the soulmate aspects in the relationship too. And that's combining with a lot of the lessons and the growth that the karmic relationship aspects bring. Well, that does it for this video on the some key differences between soulmate aspects in a relationship versus karmic relationship aspects within a relationship. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you found it helpful. And if you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos. Well, that is where I love and leave you. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys.